Hello Sagittarius, this is Sage Intuitive and I am here to do another love reading for your sign. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, the Cross Watcher, or if you're just stumbling across this channel. Um, in the comment section, put a Sag sign down there for me. If you're here watching a reading for Sag, um, put a Sag sign in the comment section for me. All right, so we're going get, to get along here. What is going on with Sagittarius in love? What do you need to know right now for Sag in love, please? True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So some of you have met someone. I feel like some of, for some of you, this is a newer person. But for others, um, you are discovering that a person that you have been in contact with, a person that you may have been, you know, dating for some of you, you met someone online uh, from a dating site here and you have been <laughs> wondering um, because you and this person have some great chemistry here that you have you're wondering like is this the real thing or is this another unrequited love and i'm getting this a lot this unrequited love like people really being confused um as to if a person that they are connecting with or someone that they just met are they really someone who is they're meant to be with on the long term or is this another like fluke um of a relationship but some of you have really been manifesting. You've been calling in a soulmate, Sag. So you, what is this saying to me here is that whomever you're thinking about, this is someone who potentially is a soulmate. That connection that you feel with that person is true and real. Um, so, you know, to not focus on if is this going to be another screw up yep because some of you are afraid of rejection that's that's what we have here and that's what i'm feeling like the hesitation here because some some people here are afraid that they'll be rejected um from a person so uh, maybe some of you get involved with a um you know with a person and everything is going good and then maybe they ghost right and then you never get any kind of apology. You never get any explanation on anything, right? Nothing. You get nothing to have to do with that um, here. So that's why it becomes like this unrequited love because you're like, okay, well, what happened? Everything was going great. Um, what What is this all about? And then there is nothing, no, nothing that you're given, no information, no anything. It just, they just leave. They just go. So they stop talking or whatever. What I feel like, yep, yeah, <laughs> some of you now, true love uh, twice. So you have this um, new person and this new situation in your life here that this is double confirmation that this is a person um, that you are meant to um, be with or have some type of connection with we have retreat as well so time alone or in nature will help you recharge i think this is about meditation this is about taking some time to um really have a conversation with yourself ask to yourself um what is it that i want what is it that i need and is this person providing me with that at this time right because that's what it seems like is happening here yeah you and this person could have started out as friends like i said some of you may have met on a dating site but you and this person started out as really good friends or it started out as some type of friendship and now this friendship is um leading to more this is saying that everything happens for a reason it could have been a reason um that uh you know all of these other things that could have happened in your past happen and the cards are like so slippery for some reason <laughs> um 
but these things that happened in your past or you got this unrequited love there's a reason for that maybe there's a lesson that you need to learn that you hadn't learned learn yet um i feel like for many of you that lesson was how to set boundaries how to not allow anyone to just walk all over you to do what they want you want to do without any um thought that um you know of your feelings how to make decisions for yourself again about setting boundaries um, so how to make adequate decisions if you don't want to be bothered with the situation, how to walk away gracefully for some of you. So it really just depends on what your situation is. This is a general reading. You're free to book a private reading if you um, feel inclined to do so. Yeah, you may have been learning how to forgive yourself um, or how to forgive others when they did something wrong to you, right? Um there was there's a reason behind all of this what else is happening for Sagittarius in love please some of you just be careful about reminiscing about things from the past you don't want to live in the past you're trying to move forward here yeah because that only that's only what's going to happen is you're going to start to really think about all of those situations so you don't you have this is the cheater story here right so you have that thought that somebody had you know it's competition and things like that so what i feel like some of you are doing is like i know this new person is who i'm supposed to be with right Every Everything seems so great but in my past relationships things started out great as well and then they had other options and they and that is what then that caused us to yep to be separated and and I was stabbed in the back by this other person this is saying be careful of all of that living in your memories living in your um, past pain and hurt um, your past sadness and things of that nature, past deception and, you know, you you being having what caused you to be separated from a particular person. I think that's your message here is to realize what you have in front of you in your presence right now and not use something that has happened in the past as a crutch for you some of you are dealing with the twin flame energy or someone you have a very very strong soulmate um tie to here and um again please uh, with the twin flame this is about also about lessons what you need to learn in a situation um, but I really think your message here is to use the knowledge that you've gotten and when you were going through these situations use what you have learned um, from people who had narcissistic um, ways about them use what you have learned from these situations to push yourself forward and do things that and see what's in front of you do things that are for you and feel right for you and see and notice what's in front of you all right let's see let's see about this new person or this person that is evolving um that sag is evolving into something with tell me about this situation So you and this person could be sexually compatible here. This could be something that is trying to grow. We did see that. But the same thing is coming up. Some of you need to change your mindset, right? Because you are so afraid with we have here coming to the end to an end third party involved or an affair you are so afraid that you're gonna have to deal with this again this saying that you guys can be compatible this saying this is saying that there is a bond but you are so afraid that what past hurts you have um experience is going to happen again so it's like you almost can't see what's in front of you yeah because you're so codependent on that thought so for some of you are needing to change your perspective because it is not as it seems i feel like you are your your thought process 
yeah you have abandonment issues and this could be your person your person could be this could be all vice versa and i'm saying this from your perspective and this could totally be the other person right because this is a general reading but someone has really bad um, codependency and abandonment um, wounds here that need to be fixed. So although all this beautiful energy a person is here that's really trying to open their heart and open themselves up to you, what is happening is, is that you are being consumed by the thought of what if this person does me bad again? Not willing to compromise to the factor of maybe i've i'm past that i learned the lesson i've set my boundaries now now something good should come towards me because i've done the work i've done what i needed to do i feel like so many like are just like confused and again the cheater story just really really on the cheater story because i can't even really get anything about this new person because you are so worried about things of the past you're so worried about being in a situation that you'll fall out of love you haven't even given yourself a chance to be in love you haven't even made the first move to even be in love because you're and you're already worrying about falling out of love so how can you worry about falling out of love when you haven't even given you a chance to open yourself up to be in love right does that make sense um, this person is a spiritual connection for you, but very guarded. You're very guarded or your person is very guarded. Like I said, take it as it resonates. I could be talking completely when I said you could be talking about the other person. So just take it as it resonates. Um, but I'm going to end it here. I think what, what we're seeing is that you're going to really have to change your mindset um, in order for this connection to continue to grow because it looks like that's what it wants to do but because of your past hurts pains and abandonment rejection and things like that you're very 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 cautious on how you move forward and rightfully so right so that is what i have for you sagittarius i will see you all again soon take care